So we're studying basically the process of cell migration, which is a critical component of the intestinal homeostasis. Every week uh, we have a new intestine, new epithelium. So this epithelium basically is produced by stem cells in the crypt, and then the stem cells, so the stem cells give rise to progeny, and these cells keep on migrating until they reach on top of the villus where they extrude and die. It was thought that the mitosis in the crypts was the driving force. So it would be kind of a passive migration. Cells would be pushing each other's neighbors and thus migrating passively. However, we have evidence to prove basically that this migration is mostly active. So cells can use uh, active actin-based protrusions to migrate. So the fact that the cells actively migrate opens up a whole new, let's say, a range of possibilities to treat disease, which might have kind of a phenotype related to cell migration, where cell migration might be impaired and leading to a, a disease phenotype. So basically now we are introducing a whole new um, bunch of factors, basically, that are responsible for active cell migration. And before, we didn't know whether this was relevant or not.